Hello guys, how you doing? It's me, Jackmate, and welcome back to the third episode of Jackmate Roast His Bloody Viewers. The series in which my viewers, that's you pathetic people out there, <laughs> send me your photos. Your photos, so why am I pointing at my fucking self? The series in which my viewers send me their photos, and I have to judge them based purely on their looks and appearance. Which is a great lesson for life. Remember, always judge people based on their appearance. Based on things they can't help or change. <laughs> oh, don't do that. Never do that. We're not Jake Paul. Okay, anyway, let's go, shall we? Roasting the Viewers, episode three. Oh, I caught it. I'm so proud of myself. I've got a good feeling about today. It's gonna be good. Right, now let's fuck up some viewers, shall we? The people who got me where I am today. Is that a pet? Is that a human? <laughs> I mean, if they ever make a live action movie of Super Mario Bros, I think I know who they should cast for Bowser. Or just any angry turtle. You look like an angry turtle. Next. This is not a real human. I'll tell you what this is, shall I? This is an actual projection of what I'm gonna look like in five years should I lose my career, my girlfriend, and my will to live. In this photo, I have fully come to terms with the fact that my hairline is never coming back. Look at that, you can see the sadness in his eyes. <laughs> I've said this before. I'm gonna say it again. I didn't realize somebody could look both like a pedophile and a kid at the same time, but this guy has got that look on lockdown. Do you know what I mean? I can't believe I should do that. He looks like the kind of guy that would lure you into a van with Harry though, because he wants to obviously molest you, but, <laughs> but once he's got you in the van, he's kind of stuck because he wants to molest you, but he also kind of wants the Harry bow. So he's sort of like, oh. You can't have both, you greedy fucker. You can have a Harry bow ring or their ring. Yeah, I won't say that. Her school bag was covered in badgers. You just know it, don't you? She's actually fairly scary. And I don't really find emo scary because usually they just look like spooky nerds, don't they? But she's, she is fucking scaring me. The f she genuinely looks like she'd slit your throat for just one more listen of Black Veil Brides, don't she? I am scared. Mysterious and spooky, they're all together hooky, the Adams family. Scott Mills has had a tough few years, hasn't he? <laughs> I love this. Have you ever wondered, right, what... what... <laughs> Have you ever wondered what Rag and Bone Man would look like if he never picked up a microphone and instead sort of picked up a heroin addiction? Ever wondered that? Of course you've wondered. We've all wondered it. And this is exactly what it looked like. Look at that. Rag and Bone Man. More like uh, Belt and Needle Man. That's not even clever. That's the, that's the, at this point, I have given up on the channel. I'm, <laughs> this guy looks like a Charles Dickens character! He, uh, there's nothing else I can say apart from he looks like a Charles Dickens character. Uh, uh, hello, Squire. Good morrow. I'm just inquiring into whether or not this hat makes me look like a nonce. It does? It does? Good day to you. If virginity was a man... Be that, wouldn't it? <laughs> Let's be honest, it would. <laughs> Can't turn on any woman, but can turn on a PlayStation just by looking at it. Oh, he's cheated on multiple women in the past. Player! But not sexually, just by smashing up, up, down, square, circle, up, up, down. I've got plenty of these PlayStation jokes, by the way. How long have you got? Oh, Uber Eats has just messaged me. My McDonald's here. I see a bit. I shouldn't order a McDonald's while I'm filming, but sometimes nuggets are just too good. Oh, that's the worst thing to ever happen to me, by the way. McDonald's to get put on Uber Eats. Look at that. I am such a such a little cretin, isn't I? I could just sit in a shed all day, judging other people based on their looks, just ordering McDonald's to me. Bring it to me. I don't want to leave the house. Bring me McDonald's. I want to get fat. I think I ate a bit too much. Anyway, where were we? Oh yeah, take the piss out of you cunts, let's go. Oh, Shawnee, Shawnee, Shawnee. Shawnee looks like she'd be everyone's least favorite high school teacher. Does it? And not because she's strict, just because I reckon every lesson she bangs on about how women got the vote. Yes, we get it, Miss Shawnee. She threw herself off a horse, but this is PE. Can you throw me a shuttlecock, please? Again, not much really stands out in this photo, to be honest. I reckon you got about another 18 months left of being able to pull off that fit mum look. Do you know what I mean? And then, sort of, slowly but surely, that silver jacket, that starts getting paired up with some knee-high leather boots, and your favourite nightclub stops letting you in, and you've got 20 years of mecha bingo on a Thursday to come. Hannah sent in this photo with the caption, do your worst, but, to be honest, Hannah, looking at that photo, looks like you've already done it. <laughs> I've genuinely used that insult before. I just recycle the same shit every other video. Oh, why do you subscribe? That's the real roast. Doesn't matter what you cunts look like, it's the fact that you are desperate enough to subscribe to this channel. You're sad. That's sad. Red eyebrows. 
Fuck off. It looks like you've swapped your eyebrow brush for a red velvet cake and just smashed that into your face. Oh, that actually fucking hurt. <laughs> oh, God, look at this geezer. I feel like BuzzFeed or someone has probably surveyed 10,000 women on things that women find least attractive in men. They've gathered up all the data and they've put it into one man. And, and, and that's this guy. Do you know, long hair, check. Likes cats, check. Baseball cap, check. The wrong way round, double check. I can't tell what David here hates most. The other kids in the class or shampoo. Yeah, that's all hot and sweaty. And that's that's what's weird about this photo. I mean, he's he's literally just come in from his latest EDL match, hasn't he? He's the leader of the fucking EDL, but he still looks more embarrassed to be with you than you do with him. So that's saying something. Remember, son, your dad is not going to be proud of you until you finally bite the bullet and get that British bulldog tattooed on your arm. Looks like the kind of woman you'd expect to turn up if you... If you hide an escort online using a dodgy website, she looks nothing like the picture. I mean, she turns up not exactly looking like the picture, but you've already paid. So you feel like if you didn't go through with it now, you'd only gonna hurt her feelings. I reckon on the phone, this woman sounds all sexy, like, yes, baby, mmm, yes, I'm wearing my fishnet stockings, don't you worry about it. We will do filthy stuff. But when she turns up, there's a whole different fucking barrel of fish. When she turns up, it's like, oh, God, let me just pull my fucking stockings out my ass. I had to get the tube here, fucking hell, it was hot and sweaty. I was sweating so much, my thighs were chafing, turned me fucking sweat into a thick paste. <laughs> God. She's alright. She's alright. You're all alright. Look at me. How could I judge? People in glass houses should not throw stones. And people in sheds should not judge anyone else. But I'm gonna. Oh, this girl 100% has Gryffindor as her location in her Facebook bio. Twat. <laughs> There's literally no need for me to call her a twat. Oh, I can't stand the sight of him. Oh, God, I guess the kids... Kid's all right though, but the other guy. Oh. This kid is 100% the type of kid that would go all red in the face and angry and probably shed a few tears if you pronounce Minecraft as Minecraft. It's not Minecraft. It's not. It's a, it's, a, it's a good game. I reckon that he's such an angry kid that even his mum's scared of him. She won't shout him to come down for dinner. She'll bring the dinner up. She'll knock gently on the door and just leave. Uh, sweetie, sweetie, I don't want to disturb you, but your chicken goujons are out here whenever you're ready. Okay, honey? Okay? I'll get them in a minute, ma'am. Jesus, I'm on mic to my friends, for God's sake. And you better not have forgotten the ketchup. <sighs> I've almost defeated Lord Aragon in the dragon snake lair. <laughs> oh, this is nice. I found the B-Tech Florence and the Machine. Except the dog days aren't over. They are in full swing. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> to finish work. Go for this fucking thing. Dora the Explorer's gone off the fucking rails, isn't she? Looks like the only thing Dora's been exploring for the past few years is recreational drugs. Sniffing gas. Give me a fucking break, Dora. Will ya? Please. So there we go, guys. This has been Jack May, and this has been Roasting My Viewers, episode three. This video wasn't sponsored by Uber Eats or McDonald's, but if you're watching and you do want to sponsor me, please do. Because I'm skint, and I'm having to resort to shouting out mobile applications. I'm only joking. It was a good app. Good app. If you're new to the channel and you want me to take the piss out of you based solely on your appearance, then head over to my Twitter at Jack and tweet me a photo of yourself using the hashtag JackMateRoast. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If I hit 12,000 thumbs up on here, I'll do another roast video within the next two weeks. Thanks for watching, guys. My name's been Jackmate. You've been a bunch of ugly fuckers. I'll see you in the next one. Come here, you!